Hey, it's Grace from Groundwork to Saddlework. I was just going to show you guys what I keep in my tack box. Um, of course, we've got brushes and combs and curry combs and all that. Um, I like a stiff brush just in case a horse would get muddy or poop on it on the way. Um, I keep my bin of rubber bands in here um, for when I barrel race. I like to bring the horse's mane just so that stays out of the way. Um, rubber curry combs. Um, I like to keep some cowboy magic in to get the horse's manes and tails shiny. Um, I don't like to use this when I'm braiding a horse's mane though because it does get really slick and the, the braids tend to fall out. But if it's just going to stay flowing and glossy, I like to put this in it because it shines it up really well. Of course, I've got Vetresen wound care in case they get scraped up on the way or while they're there. Um, and then, of course, a sweat scraper for after workouts um, and then a couple of rubber curry combs and extra brushes. Um, it is quite dirty in this caddy so I'm probably going to clean it out but I like to keep these little caddies in here just so that um, everything's in one place it's not scattered around the, the tack box. Um, if I'm doing a performance a lot of times I'll keep um, hairspray in here because when we're doing drill performances we glitter the horses hindquarters so um, we hairspray it put glitter on and hairspray again keep it keep it on there so we keep that in the horse trailer if we're doing um, performances of course I've got because of the two horse trailer I've got two water buckets two feed pans just in case and then um, an extra hay bag in case one gets broken and of course we've got piranha fly spray um, to keep the horses free from flies. Um, that's my favorite brand out of everything. Um, and then I've got, of course, a tire changing jack in here. Um, we also keep um, this big long rope in here um, just in case we get a horse that's hard to load and we don't have time to like train it and struggle with it. We'll just tie this up to hook it to one of the tie rings in the back and then just bring it around to wrap behind the horse's butt to get it into the trailer. So we always keep that in there in case we need it or if another person that we're hauling together with needs it. So um, that's basically what I all keep in my tack box for when I'm hauling, just kind of the basic given that I, I keep in here. Just wanted to show you how I clean my horse trailer. So, Every time a horse like pees in it, or it's been a while since I have um, cleaned it out, I always pull the, the mats out, spray them down really good, get all the pee out from underneath them, just because they're not fused together. They move around in there, so um, I take them all out, get the shavings out, clean it out, spray it down with water, get all of the shavings out of the cracks, and then let the sun air dry it out. I go ahead and scrub all my mats. The half moon one is from the tack box underneath the mangers. So I just do a full, full on scrub out of all of it. Get all of the, because all of that shavings get down into this crack here where the wood meets the, the frame. And I fully gutted this out and got all the the wasp nests out from the corners and mud daubers and stuff so that is swept out as clean as it can get now my trailer is dried out on the inside so now i can put all of the mats back before it gets dark tonight also we will be doing a recap from yesterday the faulkner county fair horse show jackpot so go check that out at the end of this
were a couple things I actually forgot to mention um, when I was showing you what I keep in the tack box. Um, extra lead rope and halter. Um, there was one performance that we went to um, back on the 4th of July that when we got to where we were supposed to be, um, Duke had broke his halter. So we had to find someone who had a halter. Um, the lead rope was fine, but um, the halter was broken. So just be sure you have an extra halter and lead rope. And the other thing that I uh, keep in the tack box is hay string. You never know when you're going to use it or if you're going to need it. Um, I just pack a couple, one or two strands. Um, I mean, one hay string is enough. Usually I've got hay, so I'm probably going to have hay string. So um, you never know when you're going to need that um, and fasten something somewhere. So um, halter and lead rope and hay string add to your tack box because you never know when you might need it.